the founder of the left-wing pressure group Momentum has been condemned comparing Keir Starmer to Russian leader Vladimir Putin for preventing Jeremy Corbyn from running the Labour Party. Sir Keir's move to block former leader's candidacy was backed by the National Executive Committee on Tuesday, when leader's motion was passed by 12 votes to 22. Mr Corbyn strongly suggested he would run against Labour as an independent, saying he had no intention of stopping, representing Islington North, adding, I will not be intimidated to remain silent. Momentum founder John Landsman said Sir Keir was acting like Putin of Labour Party, as he blocked former leader from running for Labour in Islington North constituency. We have to admit that the radical politics under Jeremy Corbyn are OK, he told Times Radio. The party still supports them. I think we should still be campaigning for a radical policy. Mr Landsman added, we are a democratic party. Keir Starmer is unfortunately acting like he's some kind of Putin of the Labour Party. That's not our way of doing politics. But Dame Margaret Hodge said her comments were semi-ridiculous, as the party supported Sir Keir's move to block Mr Corbyn at today's five-hour meeting of the NEC. Comparing a war-making dictator with someone who has zero tolerance for racism in the form of anti-Semitism in the Labour Party, fights for what is right is completely inappropriate and absurd, said a senior Labour MP campaigner. Corbyn remains a member of the Labour Party, but sits as an independent after being suspended for not providing a proper response to the EHRC's damning report on anti-Semitism in 2020. The Allies suggested that Mr Corbyn would run as an independent in Islington North, which he had owned since 1983. An announcement will be made by the end of the week, one source told The Times, while another said, the discussion is ongoing right now, on. We'll stand. In a statement, Corbyn said NEC's decision to block the Labour nomination for Islington North was a shameful attack on democracy, party members, and natural justice, and contemptuous of millions who voted for our in 2017. 2019 inch Keir Starmer instead launched an attack on the rights of his Labour members, breaking his commitment to building a united and democratic party that advances social, economic, and climate justice. Allies say Jeremy Corbyn will stand independently against Labour Mr Corbyn added, I will not be intimidated to remain silent. I have spent my life fighting for a more just society for the people of Islington North, and I have no intention of stopping now. Opposing Labour will likely result in him being expelled or expelled from the party. It's unclear whether other Labour members in Islington North will be kicked out for supporting him. Momentum described the NEC's decision on Tuesday as a black day for democracy, denouncing Sir Keir's move as a dream and hypocritical act. A spokesperson for group added, this anti-democratic attack is a slap in the face to millions inspired by Jeremy's leadership and does more damage to Labour. Sir Keir Starmer moves to block Jeremy Corbyn in North Islington Labour MP Shabana Mahmood, party's national campaign coordinator, said decision was a clear indication that Keir is making changes in our party to make sure we can regain trust of British people. He said Mr Corbyn failed to take responsibility and that's why we made the decision we made today. Responding allegations that movement is anti-democratic, Ms Mahmood said, constituency members have a chance vote and they always give it, but it's always left up the NEC support these candidates. So what exactly is NEC doing there do? Ed Miliband insisted that Sir Keir's proposal to block Mr Corbyn's candidacy in next election was not a mystery, following the appearance of motion that referred to Labour's electoral hopes. But the motion argues that Labour's election prospects would be significantly lowered if Mr Corbyn were allowed to run instead of addressing the EHRC report. I don't know exactly what's going on in National Executive Committee, but I don't think there's any mystery behind the debate that took place today in National Executive Committee, Miliband told Radio 4's Today programme. Miliband added, this is about Jeremy Corbyn's reaction to the EHRC's report on anti-Semitism and his refusal to apologise for that backlash. That's the background. I don't think there's a secret in that. He was also pressured by attorney Martin Ford QC, who reviewed the party's internal culture, over concerns that the Labour Party has a hierarchy that sees Islamophobia and anti-black racism not being taken as seriously as anti-Semitism. I have absolutely no such hierarchy. Not Keir Starmer, said Mr Miliband.